Hello, Cine Tech Geeks. This is James Gardner with a new episode on cinema technology. And today, what are we going to talk about? Real D. And in this case, behind me, is a Real D XL. Now, we'll have a quick look at it and how it works. Um, it's quite an ingenious little invention. It's the only system that can actually reuse the, the light um, going to the screen. I'll show you. It's, it's very clever. I'm quite impressed with it. So let's have a look. Let's just quickly go over the installation. Uh, this is a new 3D installation for the start of Ice Age 3 at uh, the Werribee Cinema in Melbourne, Victoria. Uh, basically it's all in one rack. We've got the amps, uh, the sound processor, a knee cinema and automation system um, controlling a cube DCI player. I'll just have a quick closer look at that. And there it is all talking to an NEC 1600, NC 1600 projector. As we can see here, there's two pictures or uh, images coming out from the XL. So this is how we're getting uh, double the light on screen for our 3D experience. This is done as you can see here, the lens is pushing the light directly into the S XL. Coming out of the lens is um, light which is polarised left right uh, all over the place and usually in the traditional Z screen real D system, the Z screen would block out half the light which is left polarised, for example, and let the right polarised light go through. And it would switch backwards and forwards for each eye. But in this case, there's still a Z screen in here. And we'll try and have a look at the front. And that Z screen is basically letting half the light through, but at the same time, bouncing it up to the top of the unit through a special filter which reverses the polarity of that light and then back out onto the screen again. So we're basically getting um, nearly double the light efficiency uh, that a single Z screen system would do out of an XL system. It's very clever. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how, uh, if they need another Z screen up the top. Uh, I don't remember from my training, but uh, yes, it's very good. And on the back here, you'll see some some information about if it's syncing to the um, pulse coming out of the projector for the 3D and some other adjustment plates which are sealed to make sure no dust gets into the unit because that's exactly what you don't want. So that's the Realty D XL. Um, basically an, an evolution of the Z screen to allow it to reuse the light which is um, being dumped for the left or right eye reusing it by converting it into the right polarisation and putting that onto the screen as well. Now there are some uh, limitations or some downsides from using this sort of system and that is that uh, because you've got two images coming out you have to go through an alignment process to try and get the, both images to align exactly on the screen um, so basically uh, it looks like it's coming from the one, one source. Now that can be a bit problematic especially if the the digital projector is off centre from the screen, which is quite common because, like here, there's there's uh, the traditional projector is still in place. Um, so yes, but otherwise, uh, it's a really good solution um, and uh, very popular now. And my belief, one of the reasons why Real D is um, prominent in this area, uh, because, uh, for example, if you were using a Dolby, they would have had to have bought a much more expensive bigger projector running a lot hotter and expensive globes on a running cost basis. So they've basically got a mid-size projector here um, doing, giving more light uh, than you could ever want uh, for 3D. So yeah, some good advantage there from Real D and uh, you have to give them, give them that this is, this is quite a, a one of, in my opinion one of the uh, best inventions for cinema in, in a while in, in terms of a revolutionary. So yes, uh, I recommend you have a look. Uh, the other thing that um, installing uh, some of these uh, realty systems lately is the, the quality of the um, silver screen has come a long, long way. I basically couldn't tell when I first looked at the screen that it was a silver screen. Um, uh, so yes, yeah, so 
everyone seems to be very pleased with the results from these XLs and, and the screens itself. So go have a look um, and have a look for yourself at one of these new installs if you can find one, especially with these, these new generation silver screens. Um, and I hope it's, uh, this episode's been interesting. Uh, 3D's a very hot topic at the moment and uh, I'll try and do anything on 3D when I get the opportunity. Thanks for watching James Gardner with Cine Tech Geek. Bye for now.